Well, so Robert O'Neill with 78 Fence and Backyard Concepts. We do all, everything in the backyard except uh, putting in plants and building pools. Uh, we've done jobs at airports, uh, Coca-Cola, Pepsi-Cola, Frito-Lay, you know, stone, fences, access control gates, uh, all that kind of stuff. Well, business before coaching with Sean was, it was, you know, I, I think I shared this earlier today with somebody else, it's kind of like throwing spaghetti on a refrigerator. It's like, where does it stick? If it sticks, you use that. And if it doesn't stick, oh, not gonna try that. So, you know, you've got all these great ideas and, and history in the past as far as what works and what doesn't work, but now, it's, now you have a plan and a focus for the future. Well, it's, uh, it's, a lot, it's a lot easier. I mean, you know, business now being coached by Sean and working forward, I've actually hired a, an operations manager. Now, I was handling all that before, but now I can actually focus on the first end of it, which is getting it sold and getting a design and everything and be a question answerer for all the operations and then final, finalization on the other end of it. So instead of having, you know, uh, seven hats on, now I've got like at least three less. Uh, this year, uh, now having an operations manager, I can actually have, I know that the company is going to be managed very well while I'm out of town. So I'm planning to fly out of here, head up there and take, uh, I would say, anywhere between six and ten days to just ride around uh, several states with my daughter. The, the time that you have with your family now is the most important. And, you know, really it's, it's higher profits. You know, so in other words, we're doing uh, probably a few less jobs, but we're doing more profitable jobs. You know, you don't really need a lot of C and D. C takes a lot of attention, but your A and B clients are the people that I've made made the most most made the most amount of money from. That I've also made the biggest difference at their at their job site in their, in their lives. Uh, if we're looking at different forms with, with uh, hiring a new employee or a person on a crew, he's accessible to take a look at that, use the great knowledge he has inside of uh, running a business forward. Uh, and say, okay, these are the, the certain things you ought to take. And it's like, wow, I hadn't even, not even thought about that. Because he knows what game you're playing. He knows everything about your business. And it's like, he'll see things that you don't and go, okay, well, just go, oh man, I had not even thought about it. You know, I thought I knew everything, but I didn't think about that one. The obstacle that prevented me from being coached was uh, coming from an old school of I know, and I know better. And you know, I've been doing this till, too long that you know, a coach couldn't possibly know the things I know. In the old way of looking at things, I would have thought, you know, gosh, why, why get coached? You know, what does coaching mean to me? Uh, I would have I would have looked at the, the cost differently had I had a, a lot more concern about that. You, you look back in my business maybe 20 years ago, you know, uh, I, I might have thought, well, you know, I don't, I don't have that I don't have that money to spend. But here's the thing: coaching will allow you to make more money and you know, and be able to put it in the right place. Uh, you know, when you look at the amount of money uh, that is spent on uh, uh, it can be advertising or uh, trucks and tools to do jobs and things like that, and you think it, that coaching is a tool, um, you know, you're not just in the stands at your business, you're on, on the court. And uh, on the court needs a coach.